Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I want to go over how to install presets so that we can color correct the easy way. We're going to be using uh, presets that we just find on YouTube pretty much, and they're basically things that p other people have already made for us, and they're free, so why not use them? So I'm going to come up into uh, YouTube here, and I, I know you guys can see my name, so whenever you see me commenting, I'm Lunchbox10, I have the picture of my hot dog cat as my uh, pic profile picture there, you know that's actually me responding back to your comments and things like that. So let's uh, come into YouTube and type in After Effects Color Correction uh, Presets. and up comes a whole bunch of different free color correction presets and things like that so just uh, come into any of these and then you can watch the uh, you can watch the video of, oh, let, me turn the, let me turn that volume down sorry you can watch the videos of how uh, the different presets are and how they look and then there's usually uh, download links in there so you just click on this and bring it into a folder and what I like to do is keep my color correction presets in a folder and they're already there for me so I can just copy and paste them later into After Effects. So once you have downloaded your effect or your preset I mean then we're gonna go into the After Effects folder let me bring that up we got the After Effects folder here it's uh, wherever your After Effects has been installed and then go to the support files folder and then go to presets so in your presets folder you'll already see a few folders if you uh, I think that's correct if you have the like the real version and you didn't really pirate it so you'll have these other you'll have all these different uh, effects presets in there already you want to take your folder so I'll go back you want to take your folder here and copy it and then paste it down here into the presets folder so I have already done that and I have my color correction presets already in there so let's open up After Effects now and um, since you guys need to start it and I already have everything in. I'm already going to hop into uh, After Effects here. I'm going to open up my projects and bring up some video footage that we can throw this stuff onto. Now I know that the uh, this video footage here hasn't been color corrected so I'm going to bring it in and here we go. We've got some video footage here that we can add a color correction presets to. So your color correction presets are going to be over here in your effects and presets section. So click on this down this arrow on animation presets and come down to wherever your folder was named. Mine was named color correction presets. Twirl that down and then you've got all your uh, presets here. So I can come and drag on top of this footage and it automatically adds a color correction preset. Now it looks like some of mine are in German probably, but by knowing what the different, um, by seeing the different types of uh, effects, I know what these ones are. Like this one's brightness and contrast. This one I think is a uh, ramp. And this one is, well, I'm not too sure. I think there's an exposure and then this one's the curves obviously so you can take the you can just end up deleting these off basically what a preset is is pretty much just a collection of effects already made and set to what the person wants it to look like so I can bring in clean and that's how that one looks and then you can just kinda like go through and figure out what you want to have on there see if I can old dream let's see if that looks any good so I mean 
And then you gotta come in and like figure out what you want and everything and just adjust all your different presets. I'm trying to find one that actually looks halfway decent. So this one might look a little uh, halfway decent. See, he's used the uh, the exposure here, the uh, the curves, and the hue and saturation just all in. Everything's already um, adjusted so he's got negative 20 on the saturation he had the curves way down which made it too dark for this scene but you can go in and tweak everything you can figure out what they're using if you have a different language like I do on these I don't speak German so I don't know how to even say these but if you come over here to the about and you click on it it's gonna tell you what the effect is exposure version 1.0 so we know that that effect is exposure. Now if I come up down to this one, hue saturation. So that's how you figure out what your effect is. You don't need to know the name and you can also change the name if you even wanted to by the same way you change a layer. So hue slash saturation if you really wanted, to, if you really needed to. If someone else is coming to use your uh, uh, project later on, you probably want to change the names of these. So curves. And then exposure, oops, press enter to change the name. If I can type on the right thing here. So there, it's already fixed. So that's how you add presets and color correct easily. So just add that stuff and turn them off if you don't want them on, or certain effects on, adjust them to, to your liking, and it's so much quicker than adjusting everything by hand so thanks for watching this one as a kind of a quick tip and I showed you how to install presets also so thanks for watching have a good one